Okay, this is probably a good a time as any to start the latest and greatest garden tour here. Um, dated dated uh, August 6th, I guess it is. So we always start with these pots. As you can see, as has been the case for a bunch of years, Swiss chard continues to outperform many. Lots of Swiss chard to be picked. I'm gonna pick some tonight. And uh, <clears throat> looking on other sides here, we do get, we have gotten a few cu cucumbers this year. So I'm hoping we'll continue to get some. Looks like one forming right down there. But uh, those are cucumbers. There's a bunch of different squash plants here that so far haven't yielded a lot. There is one that looks like it could yield down there. Let's see how it feels. A lot of these have been getting blossom and rot and then just shriveling up and dying and and being or being soft. I picked one the other day and it was all soft. I've gotten one edible one so far. Ooh, this looks promising. What is this? It's a trombocino. We'll see if that gets big enough to eat. But hopefully we're going to get some squash this year. Got enough of them planted there. I had to get something just through the sheer volume of them. But that's what we got a lot of is a lot of squash plants planted in these pots. There's some more starting here. I don't know how these are doing. That seems okay. That one isn't. That one's getting rotten. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, here's something unusual. A bunch, if I can show them here, of black peppers. And then there's some here too. We're getting peppers this year. And as black as they are, they taste fine. I don't mind them. So far, not much on the um, uh, app, what I call it? tomato side. My mind goes this way. Here's lots and lots more um, squash plants. These are ones that are lagging behind. And note that they're all planted in the ground. Um, I don't know if that will make them come in later than the ones in the pot and give me a staggered crop or not. I really don't. The next row here, oh, and there's some tomatoes at the other end, which I'll show you when I get there. These are a bunch of broccoli plants. They, they sent their first head up. It wasn't very big at all, hardly anything to clip. And ever since then, they're just splitting off in every which direction. There is nothing forming. I'm thinking of clipping the top down to the, you know, down very low and then seeing if something reasonable forms. But I have to say, Broccoli been horrible for me. I've never gotten a big head of broccoli ever. So I'm thinking next year it's not worth my time. And these are some more squash plants. Again, lagging behind the ones in the pots by a long shot, as you can see. Pots are definitely better soil for here, to all I can say. They definitely outperform what's in the ground. And I have to say it's probably the soil in the ground. It's just nutrient deficient or something you know it just doesn't do it and those are those tomato plants um and they probably could be doing better too i, I didn't plant any of them in pots it would have been interesting to have done that and see if i got them before but there's a few that come through they always come through late though and that may be the reason why i've got this crappy soil <laughs> i may just have really crappy soil but I'll, I'll get something eventually. I usually do, but I keep wondering if the soil is just going south. I, um, I try to mix in a little bit of compost in each of these holes, but perhaps I need a crap load of compost mixed in underneath this whole thing, which is more work than I can do. And that's why I'm thinking go to a pot and that I can mix compost into. So this may be the evolution my gardening is going in, folks. And... Um, this is a, a pot that always grows lots of these morning glories, which are not blooming right now, but they do in the morning. And there's others finally climbing up all along here. And I planted down here multicolored ones, which I was hoping some of them would reach maturity, spread seeds everywhere. I'm not sure why they don't cover the way they used to. All I could think of is that maybe down behind here, because I've covered it up with so many things, 
it, it can't land in any soil like it can here and then I don't get them growing up from the other side as well which I think I may have used to have had happen but then again this garden has become a lot more tight as far as keeping out critters I haven't had uh, woodchucks in here in a long long time I had one in this year just once there's a little hole I patched it up can't get in anymore so or it isn't trying in any, ca any case so my water bin and my watering cans beans I got one really good um, flowering I was really hoping I'd get a second maybe even a third flowering but so far not seeing anything I do have another crop though so we'll see what happens with that this is tomato row here there are some growing I think these are medium sized ones and then the small size ones down here the uh, as you can see some of them starting to grow got lots of clusters of the um, cherry tomatoes which should be sweet they're getting larger so hopefully I'm gonna get some tomatoes it may not be a lot I remember years when I had so many of them they were coming out of my ears this is some more cucumbers I've yet to get any from this batch planted in the ground again planted in the ground again underperforming the pot everything says to me the ground just isn't as good here as the pot will be everything it's loud and clear <laughs> final part the uh, second crop of beans, bush beans, all the way along, whoops, I'm tilting, sorry. All the way along the fence here. That's uh, the bush beans. And that's the quick tour. Um, I guess I could give a really quick trip out to the apple tree and grapes, just to show that they are coming in and I don't do anything to them. I have been watering down below the apple tree the grapes I have not been doing that but uh, they just seem to work every year look at them they're all green now but there'll be lots of them they're all over the place I don't know how many of them the birds will take but uh, they're kind of sweet sour they're these conquered grapes and you put them in your mouth and it's immediately sweet and then just for a little bit and then boom it's sour <laughs> Conquered grapes, but they're good for making jelly and and um, Welch's grape juice and things like that. And then here we have all the apples forming up. Granny Smith's. There's one, and there's a bunch of them way up in the tree. They are forming up. They're not to full size yet, but uh, they're definitely up there. You can see. So with a little luck, we'll get apples for an apple pie. And I think that is more or less all I've really got to 